Today, we are going to continue working on our different properties of quadrilaterals. Before I introduce you to the task, I want to remind you about some symbols that we use in geometry. The first symbol is this little box. We put this little box in angles that are right angles. The next symbol I want to mention is, are these little dashes, these lines. These lines mean that the lines that it lays on are congruent or that they're equal. We use these symbols in case we don't have rulers or protractors to actually measure them. So since we have this symbol of a right angle and we know that all four sides are equal, we can notice that this is a square right away and we don't need to take out a tool to justify our answer. Okay, let's look at our task. This task is called Properties of Quadrilaterals. Part one, look at the diagram. What are the attributes shared by shapes inside circle A? What about circle B and circle C? So your first job is to look at this circle A. What do all of these shapes have in common? Then look at circle B. What do all of these shapes, one, two, three, what do they all have in common? And then circle C. What do all of these shapes have in common? Remember back to when I said that we have some symbols that help us identify different geometric properties. For example, this symbol means that it's a right angle, and these lines mean that the sides are congruent or the same. Notice how this triangle, this bottom part of the triangle does not have a line. That's because this side is not equal or congruent to these two sides. Go ahead and write the attributes in these boxes. It says, where would you place a rectangle that does not have four sides that are the same length and y? So consider a rectangle that does not have four equal sides. Where would that shape fall? And then explain why. Here's a challenge. What shape can go in the center of the diagram? So what shape has all three of these attributes that falls in the center of this diagram? Okay, part two. Fill out the chart by writing yes or no. If the answer is yes, sketch the figure to help explain why it's yes. So all sides must be of equal length or congruent. And is that true for a trapezoid? Is that true for parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, and square? Well, I know you guys already know this, but the square, the answer is yes. So you would draw your square here to help explain why you know that to be true. And then do that for all of the attributes. Good luck on your task today. And remember, you can always refer back to our vocabulary on geometry sheet that we introduced in the beginning of this unit. Good luck.